In this presentation, we will learn how to compare two pointers. So let's get started. Use relational operators like less than, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, and equality operators like equal to or not equal to to compare pointers. When we have two pointers and we want to compare them, we can compare them with the help of relational operators or equality operators. And please note down that it is only possible when both pointers point to same array. We can compare two pointers, that is true, but it is only possible when both pointers point to same array. And output depends upon the relative positions of both the pointers. It is very important that the output always depends upon the positions of both the pointers. Okay. Now let's see one example and see how we can compare two pointers. Suppose we have an array A which consists of six elements like this and we have a pointer P which is pointing to the fourth element of this array that is this element and Q pointer is pointing to the sixth element of this array. This means that pointer P contains the address of this element and pointer Q contains the address of this element. With the help of printf function, I just want to print the output of P less than or equal to Q. We can see the current position of P is this and current position of Q is this. Now the output depends upon the relative positions of both the pointers and we can see that pointer P is before pointer Q. Therefore, we can say that pointer P is less than pointer Q. Hence, the output will be 1, right? Whenever we do a comparison, it will return output either as 1 or 0. In this case, as we can see, P is less than Q, which is correct. Therefore, output is 1. Now, with the help of this printf function, I will print the result of P greater than or equal to Q. We know that P is not greater than Q. Therefore, the output is 0. Now with this statement, I can change the address of Q to address of A3. That is, I will assign the address of this element to this pointer Q. Therefore, pointer P and pointer Q are pointing to the same locations, right? With the help of this printf function, I can print the result of P equals to Q. P is equal to Q, right? Therefore, the output is 1. I hope you understand the concept. Now let's move on to the homework problem. What is the output of the following program? You just have to determine the output of this program. And here we can see we have five printf functions and your job is to determine the output of this program. Is it A, 457411? Is it B, 454711? Is it C, 447410? Or is it D, 457401? Please don't use the compiler and leave your answers in the comment section below. Okay friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation.